CGDV ETF, Dividend Income Growth Is It Right For You? Hey everyone, and welcome back to Chad ETF. Today, we're diving deep into the Capital Group Dividend Value ETF, also known as CGDV. Are you looking for an ETF that combines income generation with the potential for long-term growth? Then CGDV might be worth exploring. But before you jump in, there's more to this ETF than meets the eye. We'll be uncovering its investment strategy, potential benefits and drawbacks, and whether it might be a good fit for you. Throughout the video, we'll also be addressing questions specifically relevant to professional investors. Question 1. What is CGDV ETF? CGDV ETF, short for Consumer Goods Dividend Exchange Traded Fund, is an investment vehicle that offers investors exposure to a diversified portfolio of dividend-paying companies within the consumer goods sector. This ETF is designed to track an underlying index composed of companies primarily engaged in the production and distribution of consumer goods such as food and beverage, household products, personal care items, apparel, and retail goods. The objective of CGDV ETF is to provide investors with a convenient way to gain exposure to the consumer goods sector while also seeking income generation through dividends. By investing in CGDV ETF, investors can access a broad spectrum of consumer goods companies across different subsectors, geographies, and market capitalizations, thereby diversifying their investment portfolio and potentially reducing risk. Question 2. What is the investment objective of CGDV? CGDV aims to achieve two primary objectives. 1. Generate income. The fund primarily invests in dividend-paying stocks, aiming to deliver a yield exceeding the average yield of the U.S. stock market. This income generation can be an attractive feature for investors seeking regular payouts to supplement their income or reinvest for long-term growth. 2. Capital Appreciation While income generation is a key focus, CGDV also seeks to achieve capital appreciation by investing in companies with the potential for long-term share price growth. This growth potential can benefit investors aiming to grow their investment capital over time. Question 3. How does CGDV achieve its investment objectives? CGDV is actively managed by Capital Group, a well-established investment management firm with a long history of success. The fund's portfolio is not passively based on an index, but is instead actively constructed by the portfolio managers. This active management approach allows them to select individual stocks, the portfolio managers use their research and analysis to identify companies they believe offer attractive dividend yields, strong financial health, and the potential for future growth. Weight the portfolio. The managers determine the relative weight of each individual stock within the portfolio, aiming to optimize income generation and capital appreciation potential. Monitor and adjust the portfolio. The portfolio is continuously monitored and adjustments are made as needed based on market conditions, company performance, and changes in the investment thesis. Question 4. What types of companies does CGDV invest in? CGDV primarily invests in large-value stocks. These are typically established companies with a long history of profitability, strong financial positions, and consistent dividend payments. Some sectors the fund may invest in include Financials Consumer staples Healthcare Industrials Utilities The specific companies held within the portfolio are subject to change based on the portfolio manager's judgment and can be found on the Capital Group website or through financial data providers. Question 5 what are the potential benefits of investing in CGDV? Some potential benefits of investing in CGDV include Income generation The fund's focus on dividend-paying stocks offers the potential for regular income payouts, which can be beneficial for investors seeking income for current needs or reinvestment. 
Capital appreciation, the active management approach and focus on companies with growth potential can lead to capital appreciation over the long term. Diversification, CGDV offers exposure to a variety of companies across different sectors, which can help to mitigate risk compared to investing in individual stocks. Professional management, investors benefit from the expertise and experience of the Capital Group Portfolio Management Team. Question 6. What are the potential drawbacks of investing in CGDV? Alongside the potential benefits, some potential drawbacks of investing in CGDV should be considered. Active management fees. As an actively managed fund, CGDV charges higher fees than passively managed index funds. These fees can eat into returns if the fund underperforms its benchmark. Market risk. Like any investment, CGDV is subject to market risk. The value of the fund can fluctuate due to various factors, including changes in the overall market, interest rates, and the performance of individual companies within the portfolio. Concentration risk. While CGDV offers diversification within its portfolio, it may be less diversified than some broad market index funds, potentially leading to higher volatility. Question 7. Is CGDV suitable for all investors? CGDV may be suitable for investors seeking income generation. Investors looking for regular income payouts from dividends can benefit from CGDV's focus on dividend-paying stocks. Long-term growth. Investors with a long-term investment horizon seeking capital appreciation alongside income generation may find CGDV appealing. Diversification. Investors aiming to diversify their portfolio beyond individual stocks can benefit from CGDV's exposure to various companies and sectors. Question 8. What are some alternative investments to CGDV? Several alternative investments offer similar or potentially better benefits, depending on individual investor needs. These include Broad market index funds these passively managed funds track a specific market index, such as the SP500, offering diversification, lower fees, and long-term growth potential. High-dividend ETFs or mutual funds. These funds focus specifically on high-yielding stocks, potentially offering higher current income than CGDV. However, they may come with higher volatility and lower growth potential. Individual dividend-paying stocks. Investors can research and directly invest in individual dividend-paying companies, potentially offering more control and higher potential returns, but also carrying greater individual stock risk. Question 9. Before investing in CGDV, what additional factors should I consider? Before making any investment decision, including investing in CGDV, it's crucial to consider several additional factors. Investment fees. Understand the expense ratio associated with CGDV and compare it to alternative investments. Tax implications. Consider the potential tax implications of dividend income and capital gains from CGDV. Investment time horizon. Match your investment strategy with your time horizon. CGDV may be suitable for long-term investors but may not be ideal for short-term goals. Overall portfolio allocation. Ensure CGDV aligns with your overall asset allocation strategy and does not overexpose you to specific sectors or risks. Question 10. How does CGDV's active management approach differ from other dividend-focused ETFs? While many dividend-focused ETFs passively track an index of high-yielding stocks, CGDV utilizes an active management strategy. This allows the portfolio managers to select individual stocks. They can choose companies they believe offer not only attractive dividend yields, but also strong fundamentals and growth potential, aiming to outperform the benchmark. Employ active weighting. They can adjust the weight of each holding within the portfolio, potentially amplifying exposure to better performing companies and mitigating risks associated with specific holdings. Be more nimble. 
they can react faster to market changes and adjust the portfolio accordingly compared to passively managed funds. However, this active approach comes with higher fees compared to passive alternatives. Question 11. How does CGDV sector allocation compare to its benchmark or other dividend-focused ETFs? While the specific holdings can change, CGDV generally focuses on sectors like financials, consumer staples, healthcare, and utilities. These sectors are known for their dividend-paying nature and stability. Comparing the sector allocation of CGDV to its benchmark and other dividend ETFs can reveal potential differences in risk profiles and income stream stability. Question 12. What are the potential risks associated with investing in CGDV beyond market risk? Aside from general market risk, some additional risks specific to CGDV include Manager risk the fund's performance is highly dependent on the skill and judgment of the portfolio managers. Underperformance, compared to the benchmark or peers, could lead to disappointing returns. Concentration risk. While CGDV offers diversification, it may be less diversified than some broad market index funds, potentially leading to higher volatility if specific sectors or holdings underperform significantly. Liquidity risk. Compared to larger and more popular ETFs, CGDV might have lower trading volume, potentially impacting the ease and cost of buying or selling shares. So, there you have it, folks. We've explored the key aspects of CGDV, from its investment strategy to its potential benefits and drawbacks. Remember, CGDV may not be suitable for everyone. Before making any investment decisions, Consider your individual circumstances, risk tolerance, and overall investment goals. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below with your thoughts on CGDV. And for even more in-depth ETF discussions, hit the notification bell to stay updated on future videos. Thanks for joining us today on Chat ETF. Until next time, happy investing!